I have to say I'm somewhat at a loss for words and very puzzled. So I have this question and I wonder if any of you lot can answer it. It's about the accused 9-11 plotters. They're still detained in Guantanamo Bay and they've made a deal whereby uh, they've agreed to life in jail to avoid execution. So my question is, what's going on here? These are people who say they love death more than they love life. And yet they now say they prefer 20 or 30 more years in an American jail to an eternity with a bunch of virgins and their maids in Jenna. This doesn't make any sense, does it? Perhaps some of you can suggest an answer. I mean, can it be that they don't really believe in Jenna after all? No, that's not possible, is it? I'm Granny Opteryx. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, BitChute and Minds. So, this is the story. 9-11 plotters to finally plead guilty, which means that they've been saying they're not guilty all this time, at Guantanamo Bay in exchange for dropping of death sentence. The three accused men have agreed to a plea deal and life in jail to avoid glorious execution at the hands of the great Satan, America. And then, of course, the rewards of martyrdom. The, men, the man accused of plotting the 9-11 attacks and two of his accomplices have agreed to a plea deal to spend the rest of his life in jail in order to avoid the death penalty. More than 20 years after the Al-Qaeda attacks that killed almost 3,000 people, uh, 3,000 people who never got a chance to make a plea deal on the rest of their lives, remember, um, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, uh, Walid bin Atash and Mustafa al Hausawi have agreed with prosecutors to plead guilty drawing a legal line under a process that's been constantly run into roadblocks. In recent months, there's been talk that a deal might be in the offing, not least because many of the family members seeking justice are getting older, as are many of the prisoners still remaining at Guantanamo Bay. A letter to family members written by the Department of Defense in the US and obtained by the Daily Telegraph says, during the July-August 2024 session of the Commission, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, Walid bin Atash and Mustafa al Hausawi entered into pre-trial agreements in this case with the convening authority and adds, in exchange for the removal of the death penalty as a possible punishment, the three accused have agreed to plead guilty to all of the charged offences, including the murder of the 2,976 people listed in the charge sheet, and to be later sentenced by a panel of military officers. OK, well, they're bargaining for their lives. Who would imagine a Muslim so much in love with death? would do something like that, bargain for his life. As I said, I find the whole thing very puzzling. The 9-11 attacks, which killed thousands of people, uh, people just going about their daily working lives and who were never offered the choice between death and living 20 or 30 more years. You'd think that such people as these would rather die in a glory... Sorry, I got animated and um, pulled my microphone out. You'd think that such people would rather die in glorious execution at the hands of the great Satan than spend 20 or 30 more years as the great Satan's guest. And they were prepared to kill thousands of people just to prove that point, including, of course, the hijackers. 
the hijackers who were Muslims just like themselves and who are no doubt right now quaffing wine in the lap of luxury and fiddling with their virgins in Jenna. And these guys instead are preparing themselves for a few more years confined in an American prison. Do you, do you think they're doing it as a form of sacrifice perhaps? Yeah, that must be it. They're making a sacrifice for their brothers. How can they live the eternal life surrounded by every luxury when so many of their brethren are suffering all over the world under the yoke of Islam? Yeah, that must be it. I think I've found the answer. Well, if any of you disagree with me, comments below. Till next time. You can help my channel by clicking like, by subscribing, by clicking the notification bell, and by sharing if you're so inclined. Links to my other channels are in the description, also links to donation sites, but really the best way you can help me is simply by clicking like. Thank you.